Hi, it's Eitan Shalom, Body Mind Wellness Center in San Diego. I've had a lot of uh, patients of mine say, I tried to meditate and I couldn't. And I'd like to talk about that briefly. Um, this is a pretty simple thing. There's a few aspects to it. One, some people are so unused to calming their mind. They're so um, unsettled and have so much trouble sitting still that they don't have the ability to become comfortable with the uncomfortableness that arises when they try to sit still. And those are often the kind of people that always have to be busy. They're always doing something. And they do everything that they do on an emergency status. Uh, I have a neighbor like that. He's a chef. He's a former drug addict. Well, he's, I think he's still a drug addict. He just has stopped taking drugs. But now he has the drug of speed. And, uh, and I don't mean this, the, I don't mean methamphetamine. I mean, doing everything as if it's an emergency. He rushes from the house to the garbage can, throws everything in the garbage can as if his life depended upon it, rushes back to the house. Um, a friend of mine who's like that calls it, at least she's aware she's like it. She calls it being on red alert. So what drives that is anxiety. Anxiety has physical, emotional, and intellectual symptoms. The physical symptoms, intellectual symptoms, are people with a true anxiety disorder because it's a spectrum. Uh, those are the people that uh, intellectualize anxiety and imagine the worst, catastrophize, and even to the point of paranoia. Um, the, emotion, the emotions associated with anxiety are the emotions of fear. And that can be a general fearful state in the body. Uh, it can be a general nervous feeling. It, it, it's, it's the emotion of anxiety is something that people have trouble putting into, the, into words until they stop and work with it, either with meditation, a mindfulness practice, or with a therapist, or ideally both. The physical symptoms associated with anxiety are an inability to sit still, restlessness, palpitations, doing everything as if it's an emergency, um, uh, the, the, the people that were always tapping their feet, pathological sweating. And you'll notice what all of those symptoms have in common is movement where there should be calm. There's no reason to put your trash in the trash can as if it's an emergency, as if your life depended upon it, right? And um, actually, it's much, much better for your health, unless you're in a hurry. I mean, it's one thing when you're genuinely in a hurry, but people like this make everything as if they're in a hurry. That's the key point. Um, it's much healthier for you to walk to the garbage can calmly, Put your trash in the garbage can calmly. It's the same thing with driving. You know, people uh, rush about in their car and then they become impatient. Uh, Thich Nhat Hanh observed that Americans, the moment they get to a red light or even a stop sign, they immediately become impatient. And um, and he, sa he said... Um, you know, why not take that as a timeout? That minute or whatever it is, 30 seconds, minute, that feels like an hour because you're in a hurry because, you know, everything you have to do is in a hurry. Take that as a timeout. Okay, so now, getting back to having trouble meditating. So, people that can't sit still and they say, I tried meditating, but I couldn't. What do they really mean? I always ask them, well, how long did you try for? 
because, you know, you don't learn how to surf. You don't learn surfing um, in one go. You don't learn how to play the piano in two sessions. And um, those are things that are, well, some people give up a musical instrument and they give up surfing too, but those are things that are, that are um, right away fun, more fun. And, um, well, meditation is also really fun. So first of all, first of all, if the issue is that you can't sit still, then really think about that and notice what it is. Not being able to sit still in order to meditate is not being able to sit still. That's what it is. And then as you begin to meditate and you feel like you want to get up, which is what? You want to flee. It's the flight aspect of the nervous system, which is associated with fear, a fearful response to real or perceived danger. And what's the danger here that you're going to have to sit with yourself and feel things that are uncomfortable, that you've spent your entire life avoiding feeling, whether through food, drugs, sex, uh, being busy all the time, being a super high achiever. The fundamental the fundamental ways in which you've escaped feeling whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable. And that can range from just having an incredible amount of drive, but it can also include you know, trauma, stuff like that. And it can be minor trauma. It doesn't have to be that you were in a war and your parents were abusive. You'd be surprised how minor traumas can be uncomfortable and we can just avoid them. Okay, now, the second reason why some people have trouble meditating and say, I tried and, and I couldn't do it, and then so I gave up. I mean, they never say, and so I quit because we don't like quitters in our society, right? They never say, and so I gave up after two, two attempts. They always leave that part out, and I don't mention that. But I do mention that, you know, any, to achieve anything, you have to persist. Um, uh, the second reason, and this is also very common in our society, is perfectionism. Perfectionism. People give up because they think that they're supposed to sit down meditate and immediately have a fabulous meditation in which they've spoken to Jesus, had a vision of God, um, achieved inner peace, etc., etc., etc. It don't work that way, kids. Um, but I would say this, you'll have an experience of inner peace really quickly if you meditate every day. It, meditation isn't really that hard. And one of the key points to understand is that when you sit and meditate for 20 minutes with a timer and you have the world's worst meditation in which you felt nothing good, you know what? You still meditated. You still get credit. You still get your gold star and your brownie points. But more importantly, that's me being funny, more importantly, you're setting the stage for your mind to calm down. And even though you didn't have a 